Will Zach Granke come back to L.A. after opting out of his contract? That's the biggest question on the minds of Dodger fans everywhere. Welcome to True Blue L.A., where we're going to talk about Granke and how opting out of his contract affects the Dodgers' rotation plans for 2016. Let's bring in Eric Steven to tell us what we can expect in the coming weeks. The one thing we do know is he's he's going to opt out of um, three years, uh, 71 million that he has left on his contract. Um, he's going to he's going to be one of the most attractive uh, free agents out there this winter. Um, I would imagine he and David Price will be sort of angling for the the highest contract, at least among pitchers, uh, this winter. Um, so he's probably looking would imagine for her probably a six-year deal if not if not longer i mean maybe a five-year deal gets it done but um he's going to be looking for uh, a pretty big contract and um the dodgers will certainly be in the mix but um you know there's there's other um other pitchers on the market um to deal with and the fact that uh you know maybe i'm not sure if the dodgers won't feel comfortable you know committing that kind of a money long term to someone who's going to be 32 next year um, when, like, the other top pitchers on the market, David Price, uh, Johnny Cueto, Jordan Zimmerman, they're all going to be 30. They're two years um, younger. I think in the case of Price, he's at least, you know, comparable, if not better than Grinke, uh, or, or at least body of work. Um, the other two, I would still prefer Grinke, but um, they are younger, so there's a you have to sort of factor in the risk. But um, it's, that's uh, sort of the biggest question of the offseason is where – where Grinky ends up, and and or if the Dodgers don't re-sign him, how they sort of utilize that um, sort of hole in their rotation and the, the money they already had allocated to him.